you know, obviously this is an iconic series that everybody's kind of like trumped up about. So jo joining in now, obviously, do you feel that you have a certain loyalty to even before your characters join the uh, Absolutely. the world? Absolutely, I, I think. Um, both of us were in the same boat, you know, coming into this, you're, you're so excited because you get to, to step into something that people have been clamoring for for years. But then there is that element of intimidation because it is so loved and, and we are new characters that are being introduced. Um, but that's where Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell really mm -hmm. stepped in and made us comfortable from the start and we couldn't have had better people uh, running the show. Um, they were so collaborative and and just so gracious. Like, you know, Bruce took us under his chainsaw arm and was like, <laughs> come on, you guys are good. Um, so it was, it was because we sort of got their blessing with all of this and they made it a point to make us feel really good from the start that we were able then to do the work that everyone's been uh, working so passionately and so and so hard to give the fans what they want. Yeah, I mean, we definitely had no restrictions. Uh, we were definitely allowed to do a lot of whatever we wanted, and I think that that was um, a blessing because we really got to bring ourselves to the table. And um, you know, with a character like Ash and an actor like Bruce, you want to be your yourself and you want to be your most strong version mm -hmm. of who you are. I think ultimately that's what these characters are, and uh, you know, it's a group of people trying to escape who they're really meant to be. And then once they come into contact with their inner demons and they defeat those and fight the demons along the way that they come into contact with, they truly become the monster fighting squad that they, you know, are meant to be. And I think that um, once you embrace who you truly are on and off camera, you kind of can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's what our leaders allowed us to do. And we knew that we had to please the fans or and, and bring, bring something strong. And so personally, I said, cover me in as much blood, put me in whatever <laughs> situations you want. I mean, I want to run through the, the, the wilderness of New Zealand covered in blood from dead eyes like completely naked so just do whatever you want to me you know we will not let them down but and also just to add there was immediately a chemistry I mean we have a very small cast it's yeah. five people um, and even though we're sort of mostly with Bruce you know being on set with Lucy Lawless and Jill Marie Jones it's one of those secret sauces that either you have it or you don't and we were very very fortunate to be working with such great people mm -hmm. that that it it didn't it wasn't even it was there was no effort in that sense and i think um what's great about our our characters with ash is that they 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 help each other out they each give each other something the other one needs and um i think because pablo and kelly are best friends she makes him a little tougher he makes her a little softer yeah. um and you know ash teaches us how to fight kelly teaches him how to think and Pablo gives Ash a little bit more heart and compassion. Totally. We definitely bring some nice. humility to, to <laughs> Ash. And then we just go fight <laughs> monsters and get covered in blood. So yeah. it's like a nice message underneath, and then it's just plastic in yeah. your face. I feel there's a lot going on there, too. I mean, just in the first episode alone, you know, Pablo may not be the sharpest knife in the, in the drawer, per se, but he's smarter than you give him credit for. He's got a lot of stuff yeah. going on. Do you yeah. have to kind of work that out there, or it's all in the script for you to go? Um, well, you know, I think Pablo is actually smarter than you might think. I think he's definitely aware of his surroundings and how people sort of um, uh, perceive him. You know, he's this guy who comes from Honduras and works at the store, and so people probably think he's not as smart as he is. But um, I think, uh, you know, Ash, he's Ash's biggest cheerleader, and through... Mm -hmm. You know, he he really wanted to idolize Ash. Uh, he idolizes Ash because he needs something to believe in. And um, once he starts believing in Ash, he really starts believing in himself and the man that he can become. He doesn't want to be Ash, but he realizes that once he truly embraces who he is, he can be a better man. And I think that, you know, Ash teaches me a little bit of self-worth and value. And uh, together, these three dysfunctional human beings come together to form this amazing unit that takes, takes over you know, takes down evil. Yeah. So yeah, you're definitely gonna see all of us have our journey where we, you know, go from being, you know, uh, sort of a regular person to now becoming somewhat of a, of a superhero. And does, I mean, let's be honest, does the wooden hand really come up with sexy? You know, no, she's, Kelly's very <laughs> unimpressed at first, but it's his swagger. It's his seeing him in all his glory, you know, because she first meet, meets him and she's, he's an, an arrogant idiot. You know, and but then she sees him 
turn into this crazy monster fighter who just has all these skills. She can't help herself but be in awe. And I think as the as the show progresses, you see that Kelly and Ash um, are more alike than either of them would care to admit. Uh, so they push each other's buttons throughout the series, but they have each other's backs, and that is a really fun dynamic. No, we're just we're playing to an audience. Period. We don't care what age they are. I want Granny to watch this show <laughs> because we hope that she'll find something in it that's funny. Or maybe the gore will laugh. People laugh at the gore in these movies because it's so, you go, really? <laughs> People got that much blood in them? <laughs> you know. It's true. So we, we want to, A, appeal to the original fans who got it.